All right, soggy weather will be with us now through tomorrow, but heading into the end of the week, it looks a little drier. Uh, there could even be a couple of strong thunderstorms tomorrow with locally heavy rain. We'll have that for you in a second, but wanted to give you an update on the Atlantic Basin. There is the remnants of uh, Florence, of course. Uh, about a week and a half ago, mid landfall with North Carolina made its way up into the northeast, eventually recurved out into the Atlantic, and it is still now a tropical entity, but it is not named. So we'll kind of watch that as it lifts north along the outer banks of North Carolina. Temperatures yesterday were cool, 50s and 60s, a little warmer to the south and west, but 70s there. Temperatures generally below average, especially along the coast, 5 to 10 degrees below where we should be. Some of the heavy rain yesterday falling across the southwest. D.C. and Charleston almost a quarter of an inch, Pittsburgh a third of an inch, and then 1.35 inches in Cincinnati. So those are areas where heavy rain has been a major concern. More flash flood watches there. Uh, coastal flooding, a, a possibility as we take you uh, from the Carolinas to the Delmarva Peninsula. And again, this area of rain is going to be lifting north, and we're going to be talking about one to maybe two plus inch rainfall tallies. So there's our first batch of rain moving through today, making it quite soggy. And then this area of unsettled weather will continue to shift east and bring more widespread rain and thunder into our Wednesday afternoon and evening. And again, kind of watching the severe threat today back to the west and the Great Lakes. But tomorrow we're going to have to watch that severe threat across most of the region.